Seasonal and trendy cocktails are often not very good. Trying to shoehorn in some pumpkin spice to your libation generally does not result in a tasty drink. The term pumpkin spice itself is a little misleading since it contains no pumpkin and is generally just cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice, and maybe even some vanilla flavors that are actually typical to many exotic cocktails. Let's look at some of the exotic or tiki cocktail ingredients that are common. Cinnamon or cinnamon syrup, vanilla or vanilla syrup, nutmeg, allspice dram, and falernum, which is generally made of ginger, allspice, and clove. And what do you get when you add all of those things together? You get yourself an even better pumpkin spice. And over the next month or so, I'll be highlighting some more drinks that use these ingredients. But uh, let's be honest here, that's kind of what I do all the time anyways. As for today, instead of forcing you to make some type of uh, pumpkin spice margarita, let's just take a delicious cocktail that already has some of those fall flavors in it. And if you're watching this during a time that is not the fall season, that's totally okay because this is not a fall cocktail. It's just a good one. We'll be making the Captain's Grog as made in the Smuggler's Cove book. The recipe is an adaptation from Beach Bum Remixed, and the drink hails from the Captain's Inn in Long Beach, California, my old stomping grounds. I don't know if it's the same building or not, but currently the Crab Pot overlooking the Long Beach Marina is where the Captain's Inn was once located. There's nothing too unusual in this one, but the addition of maple syrup as well as a vanilla extract and almond extract are to me the fall flavors that I enjoy more than pumpkin sludge coffee. Plus we're gonna use velvet falernum bringing in that ginger, allspice and clove flavor. It's basically everything you're looking for in fall flavors or tiki exotic flavors except for cinnamon. For the captain's grog you'll need lime, grapefruit, maple syrup, the real stuff, vanilla extract, almond extract, seltzer water or club soda, velvet falernum, a dry curacao, a black blended rum, a blended lightly aged rum, and a blended aged rum. The Smuggler's Cove book gives you rum categories, which to date is really the best categorization system we have for rums. And it allows you to adapt these recipes to what you have or what is available to where you live. I think a lot of people get a little too hung up on the rum called out in a specific recipe and it's as if we need permission to use something else. Uh, to be clear, you don't ever need permission, just do whatever you want. But the Smuggler's Cove book does have a system in place to inspire you to use what you have or to try something new, basically giving you permission to explore. But like I said, you don't, you don't need that permission. The rums called for in this one are a black blended rum, which is the category or number five, a blended lightly aged rum, that's category two, and it's a pretty broad category of light and gold rums. And then finally, a blended age rum, which is category three. I've now made this drink a few times using different rums, but today I'm gonna to be using these three. Uh, I like all three of these. They're not necessarily my favorite rums in the world. But the reason I'm using these three is because I was recently at Smuggler's Cove. I ordered a Captain's Grog, and these are the ones they were using on that day, I think. Can't always remember everything from my trips to Smuggler's Cove, but I'm like 99.9% .9 sure it's these three rums. And we're gonna start by building this in a drink mixer tin with half an ounce of lime juice, half an ounce of grapefruit juice, half an ounce of a grade A maple syrup, three drops of a vanilla extract. I'm only using two here because this is a double full vanilla, so it's a little more intense than your normal vanilla extracts. Three drops of an almond extract. One ounce of club soda, and we're gonna put that into the tin right now. Half an ounce of velvet falernum. Half an ounce of dry curacao. Three quarter ounces of Hamilton 86. Three quarter ounces of Plantation Three Star. And three quarter ounces of Money Musk Gold. Add 
Add one and a half cups of crushed or nugget ice and flash blend this. Open pour it into a double rocks glass. And garnish with mint. While it's not called for in the recipe, I'm gonna top it with some cinnamon, cinnamon stick, and some nutmeg to cheat this into a true ball cocktail. All right, so let's taste the Captain's Grog. Now it's funny, it's just the addition of the nutmeg on the cinnamon on top. It doesn't change the way the drink is tasting yet, but uh, that's the first thing you get on the nose, the first thing you smell when you're putting your face into this. So it does change the drink a little bit. It does lean a little more into the fall flavors because of that. And what's interesting about the drink is there's so many little things going on in just small amounts. It gets a little muddled. You don't necessarily pick up everything. You would think that putting something like almond extract inside of your drink would be more impactful because just using a little bit of this in something like let's say uh in orjat it's going to give you that sort of um marzipan -y sort of like baked goods almond flavor it doesn't really come through here as much you get that vanilla you get a little bit of almond but it's not too powerful the velvet falernum the orange curacao you know for me i don't pick them up and i'm not saying that as a negative either it's just there's a lot going on in this drink uh you can definitely taste those rums and mainly you're getting the Hamilton 86, that sort of darker rum, and then the Jamaican rum from our Money Must. So those rums work well here. Yeah, and it's one of those drinks where I almost need to consult the ingredients list to even think about it too, because there's quite a bit of maple syrup in here, which you're not really picking up either. It is giving sweetness and richness, but does the drink scream fall? Not really, but you know, it's not a fall cocktail. It's just using some of those ingredients that I like, but you do get the vanilla. You do get some of just the the sense that there is uh, spice in there, even if you're not exactly sure what it is. I think it's also a good drink to entertain with, to uh, show off to your friends, because it is not overpowering in any way. It's not overpowering with the acidity. Uh, it skews sweet, so I think some people will actually enjoy that more. And the rums are relatively mild. There's nothing too uh, funky. There's nothing too intense going on in the Captain's Grog. And overall, just an excellent drink if you're trying to ease your way into the fall season without going uh, full-blown pumpkin spice and try the Captain's Grog from the Captain's Inn in Long Beach via the Smuggler's Cove book. So that's it for this one. I'm Derek. This is Making Drink. This was the Captain's Grog. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like below. You want to support the channel, check out some of the links below. Otherwise, see you on the next one.